Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me and thank you for all the support that you've been uh, sending my way. Uh, today I want to go over another community node which is great uh, if you want to create your own AI agent, especially voice AI agent and I think some of you now know what I'm going to uh, cover this one. Uh, but before I do, I just want to point out your attention to my store. Here you will find all of the workflows and all of the blueprints, both for NNN, uh, make.com and Confi UI as well. You will also find some courses as well for people who are switching from one platform to another. And as well as there is this all access subscription where you get everything, everything that I've created in terms of uh, JSONs and courses and all, and all the future ones uh, that I will create in the future as well. Uh, all right, so uh, switching back. Uh, so today we're going to go over 11 laps, which is, a, which is I think, the best way to generate voices uh, with AI. Uh, first of all, what you need to do is go over to 11labs.io and uh, log in to uh, create, sign up to an account. They'll give you free credits uh, to start with. Uh, and then you will need to uh, head over to um, to the API keys here uh, and then copy your API key here. You uh, copy that API key and go over to N8N. Now in N8N you have to go to settings uh, and settings can be found in here, three dots and then settings. Uh, and inside here you, you will see community nodes and you will need to install. So. Uh, you'll need to go to this uh, website, npmjs.com, which has all of the uh, uh, community nodes. Uh, just copy this section. It usually starts with N8N and then N8N nodes and then the name of the uh, node. Copy this one, go back to here, paste this here, and then say, I understand, and then install. Once it's installed, you, you can see it here. And then uh, once it's, it's installed, you can go over and you, can, you will find it once you start adding your uh, notes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm now in a fresh new and it and install. Uh, what first I'm going to do as always is name 11 labs so that I don't forget. Uh, then uh, this is the first node, which is the trigger node, which is uh, what trigger means is that it starts your automation, the first step in your automation. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I will use the trigger uh, manual. So this only get, it doesn't get activated on schedule. You only need to press the button for it to start, which is great for testing purposes. So let's search for 11 labs. And as you can see, there's two nodes, one with this one, with this cube and one without the cube. So the cube one is the one from community. And this one apparently is the official. I didn't get any uh, good results with the official, to be honest. I uh, I got good results with the 11 labs uh, community node. So I'm gonna click on this and then you will see there's a lot of things we can do. There are uh, several uh, sections. So there's the speech section, which generates speech from text, which is uh, the most commonly used one. So you'll give it text and you'll choose who you want to, the text to be uh, spoken by and then you will have an audio. And there's uh, the speech from speech. Uh, here you, you get to change the voice. You'll give it your own voice, for example, and you say, I want it in another voice. And then there's the voice action list voices. It gives you all the list of voices that, uh, that are available for you to use. You can generate a new voice. You can create voice from generated ID. So you, if you have a voice already, you can choose the, vo uh, the voice ID and then create a voice based on that. So you can clone a voice, get voice details, and then delete a voice. There's also the history action. This gives you all the history actions that you've done, uh, creating voices, creating uh, the text from speech and everything. You can delete history item as well. And there's user information, which gets the user info and uh, type of subscription you have. So I guess the speech action and the voice actions are the most used ones. Uh, with speech with uh, speech actions are the most uh, used one. Now all of these can be found here uh, inside of uh, Eleven Labs. So you, you can see here text to speech. Here you can type your text and choose who you want. 
uh, the voice to uh, to have to, to be okay. So there's this the default. Uh, as, as we, we are, are liberated, liberated from, from our own fear. fear. So you give you a preview of, for every voice there. صوتي للشعر والكتب صوتي لش. So there's a lot of uh, languages as well. Life without love is like a life without love is like a tree. Uh, then you type your text here, and then you can uh, have these voices uh, uh, talk whatever you you want. Okay. There's the voice changer, which is an awesome thing as well. So you upload your own voice, your own audio, and then you choose who you want to, uh, uh, who you want the person to say, what, what, to turn your voice into whatever voice you want to have. There's also multilingual, so you can have it in different languages as well. There's also sound effects, and there's this voice thing where you can uh create or clone a voice so if you have your own voice and you want to generate more uh videos of your own voice or something like that you can uh, upload your own voice here and then uh use that for any purposes that you want to create for the future or you can uh create your uh create voices based on other people okay so back let's go back to n8n uh, I'm going to generate speech from text, which is one of the most useful ones. So here you need to add your account. Uh, you just need to put your API key and hit save. It's pretty, pretty, pretty easy and straightforward. So uh, in the resource, we're in the speech. These are the several sections that we saw before. So we're now doing text to speech. And then here you can uh, type your own text. For example, the famous word that I start with every video. Uh, and then here you can choose the voices that you want. Uh, here you have a list of all the voices, right? And then uh, you can either from the list or you can even put the ID. If you have your own voice or a voice that you've trained, you can put the ID in here. Okay, so let's go for with uh, Bill. And then the additional fields are also quite interesting. There's a lot of things that you can choose from. Uh, you can choose what output you want. Uh, you can choose the model name or ID. Uh, you can choose the file name. Uh, you can choose the style. Uh, you can choose... Uh, you have a lot of things here to, uh, to choose from, okay? Uh, let's go with the basic one feature now and let's uh, just hit test and see what we have. So we're waiting for this to execute and here we go we have something i'm going to download it and i'm going to play it hey everyone welcome to another lesson all right so uh we have the voice which is great so uh the item here is a download item is a data item so you can uh, use it further along in your um in your workflow okay now if you want to see uh, let's uh, let's duplicate this one let's see i want to uh, go to the voice actions and i want to list all the voices and then if i uh, let's just wire this up okay so let's test this step <clears throat> and here you go so if I go to the table, then I'll get the voice ID of each one. So this is the ID that we that I told you before where to put it. So this is the ID. And it gives you the name, the accent, the age, the gender, and uh, the, um, the high quality based model IDs. Okay, so there's two pages in here. You can choose from, these are pre-made, okay? Uh, if you created your own voice, if you trained your own voice, you'll find it here in the section where you can get your voice ID as well from here. All right, so uh, I think uh, that's uh, mostly it for Eleven Labs. Uh, the community node is a great node. Uh, I think I use it more than the official node. The official node gives me issues. Uh, so if you guys uh, uh, 
want to use this i will include the link for this one so you can have the name uh so you can install it and uh you can incorporate this, for example, in your AI agents if you want to turn, uh, for example, if you if the if the uh, Open AI, for example, ChatGPT gives you back text and you want to make an a, a uh, and you want to turn that text into a voice so that you have a voice agent, then every text you get from uh, Open AI, you can run it through the Open Lab, uh, the sorry, the Eleven Labs um, uh, note here, especially in the uh, in this section, text to speech, uh, you you can run it through this one, and you have the text here as whatever ChatGPT gives you, and then it will make the audio for it. All right, I'm glad uh, that you you guys are liking my videos. If you did like this one as well, please give it a like. Uh, check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next one.